Welcome to Longhorn Lusters. You know, I've been known to be a one to have a, this amazing farm rebuild after this horrific Hurricane Harvey flooding. Done a pretty good job with all of that. Uh, been known to raise a few Longhorns, a few ostriches. Uh, done pretty good with that. Done some dog rescues and everything else. But I'll tell you what, I might be remembered when all is said and done, I might be remembered for something, a talent, if you will, a skill that no one knew I possessed. Valet parking. That's right. Longhorn Lester's valet parking. I hope you just noticed how easily that lady was able to pull herself out of a very crowded, a very crowded area. And listen, at no risk or damage to other vehicles, no harm to any animals. Yeah, and guess what? I master planned that. And in this video, I'm going to teach you a little something. Mainly, why women hate me so much. That's what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you why women hate me so darn much. <laughs> It's going to be a fun video, y'all, but uh, it didn't start out that way. No. This is not my car. This is the mother of the bride, and she did not park the way I... You line up the cars, that's the way you park. And so I says, get me the keys. I'm going to park your car the way it's supposed to go. Thank you, bae. That my friends that's where we roll that right there's how we roll i tell this story about the first time we had an event here it was when jamie and i had invited all of our neighbors over and family members for our first barbecue i don't think we videoed that so there were about 15 vehicles up here and there was no organization to how we parked. And so pretty much everyone who pulled up, you know, just parked. It was cars parked everywhere. Jake and Ben and Ellie and me and Jamie and all Pat and Dave and you name it. We had every neighbor over here. And guys, when it was time for people to start leaving, it was a madhouse trying to get everyone to pull out. And so I learned from that that if I have people come in and park the way you would in the parking lot, it's a whole lot easier. So when we had Jamie's work event here, uh, I had everyone park in a certain pattern. I know what you're all saying, Lester, this is such a guy thing, such a guy thing. Well, maybe it is a guy thing, but there's organization here and it makes it easier. And so now when anybody, there should be about 20 cars here today. When now when these, tw you need me love? Oh, you're just listening? When these 20 cars get here, if they will all follow my same pattern, when they're ready to leave, guess what? They get in their car, they back up to here, and they completely go up towards the uh, little greenhouse, circle around the tree, and they come right back out. And that right there, friends, is what makes it easy. Now, I know what you're going to say. Lester, what's going to happen, though, if you can't fit 20 cars along here? Because the way it looks, you might only be able to get 10, 15 cars. Guess what? That's easy. We go on up as far as we can, as far as we need to, and then we'll make the circle. And they'll start parking here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And then they back up this way and go out. It's not too close, so we can still get do I ever impress you with how smart I am? Uh, Do I look like a smart man? No. <laughs> I don't look smart. It must be my shirt. Is it my shirt that makes me look so dumb? Uh, just just say yes, it's my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Thank and you. And my hair. You got a problem with that? Let's just stick to my shirt. We'll stick to my shirt. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel at Arms Family Homestead. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all something. Look at this. Look at that. And then, okay, I mean, you know, fine, whatever. We can work with that. The hell? 
Seriously, what the hell? So I got to go in there now and find out who this vehicle belongs to and ask them, can I park their car correctly? Because this messes up my entire system. Y'all are probably saying, Lester, you're being such a man, Lester. Just let them park and enjoy their party. I'm not going to sit here and let them enjoy the party. I don't want to go in there drinking their mimosas. And then whenever it's time to leave, no one can get out because they don't know there's no. I've asked permission to park her car. So now I'm the official valet. I am Lester Morrow. I'm Longhorn Lester Valet. That's what I am. Gosh, darn it. I don't really want to mess with anybody's stuff. <laughs> I'm Lester Morrow, Valet Parker. Valet parking. That's what I that's what my life has become. Lester Morrow, the valet parker here at Longhorn Lester's. What's your mother doing? What is she doing? You like the way she's doing it better? Huh? She can get out. No one likes the way I'm doing this. This is look look at my setup over here. This is amazing. And no one seems to be <laughs> I'm, I'm having fun with you women. To, that's okay. This is the this is the bride, huh? Is it too wet to park in the grass? Nope. But it's okay. Can, you, you mind if I video this? So I kind of have a system so as everyone will fit and everyone can get out easier. I had no idea how exhausting it was going to be to park so many cars. Thank God it's a cool morning. Quite windy, actually. But, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight cars here so far. They think there'll be about 20 total. Now, of course, two of those are ours. That really makes only six cars. So we have a long ways to go. Here comes the next guest we will put them in spot number six right here i have spot number six available right here you're gonna help me then right okay come on up we're gonna turn in right here that's how we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna come on up we're gonna turn in right here bay's gonna stop them right there don't let them run over you okay where's my helper stop them jeez that's the way we're doing it y'all that's the way bay thank you you're helping me so much that's perfect so what you guys don't know is there have been 10 women roll their eyes at me when I try to direct them into a parking spot. Mary said she would, Leah, I call her Mary, so just get used to that. She said she would like to paint one of these for Easter. Okay. You want to give her that one? Yeah. She can have it. Still didn't take away the fact that she rolled her eyes at me. But uh, you, a lot of the folks on the page may feel the same way. You may feel like, Lester, you're going overboard. It, how bad could it be? I'm telling y'all how bad it was. The first event we ever had here, it was chaos. There were people driving all over the grass, circling around in the yard. It wasn't rainy, but it was, it was still the grass, and you still try to maintain, you know, your, your yard the best that you can. And I've learned. And so... The last two events have not been women-only events. And so the men who were driving had no qualms whatsoever with parking in an organized parking pattern. I don't know why. why I, this is that men is, the men are from Mars and women from Venus kind of a thing. This is, this is exactly what we're talking about today. That men are from Mars and women are from Venus. And this is a prime example right here. Can y'all imagine how horrible the parking would be on Venus? Seriously, can you imagine how horrible the parking would be on Venus? Yet, on Mars, I bet everything is lined up in rows and columns with easy access in and out. 
That makes 11 eye rolls, by the way. That makes 11 eye rolls. And they shake their head like I can't see in their windshield. Like, most of them are putting on makeup and looking at me like, <sighs> that's exactly what they do. In my mind, they're, they're doing this. They're looking at me and like, <sighs> and they, <sighs> total man. First guy who shows up, but look here, this is a man thing over here. Got all the women here pulled in here right. But look, you got the one fella. He's gonna back in. That's a man thing. All right, this is Stephanie. Now, I am not gonna say a thing. I am just gonna see if Stephanie, on her own, can park correctly. Yeah, Bay got some merch while she was here. We got some new hats. I am not gonna say a thing. I'm just gonna see if Stephanie, on her own, can figure out the pattern here. Can Stephanie figure out the pattern? You think she can or can't? Then she's gonna hear me. Okay, so I'm asking you then. Do you think that Stephanie will figure out the pattern, yes or no? Uh, maybe. You think she will? I think she's a smart girl. I know she's a smart girl, and I have a feeling that she will. So I'm gonna pretend to be filming on the driveway, like I'm not filming her, but really we're gonna find out, will she figure out the pattern? I'm waving at her, she's looking around, she's looking around. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! Oh my God, Stephanie is the first no offense, ladies. Stephanie has figured it out. <laughs> Good for Stephanie, they're all safe. Now, someone else is coming. I wonder if this person can figure it out. I think that me and Bay, I think that, I think that our plan is working, Bay. The last two cars, the last two cars have figured it out. Now, there's one problem, Bay. Now, we're going to have to start circling around and coming back all the way around. I don't know. This is gonna be a little bit tough. We're gonna have to make them circle all the way around and come back towards me. Guys, we're getting good at this. We're getting real good at this. Oh, those are cute. We are getting really good at this job. Now, I'm not gonna hire out. I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing what I'm doing. But I'll tell you what, this is good. Easy in, easy out. I just interrupted the program. I says, ladies, all you have to do is back up and go around our circle drive when you leave. Just simple back it up and go around the circle drive when you all leave. Let's see how this goes. Troubles fester, come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.